everyone, what's up? It's Love from Love of Laugh, Love in 99, and for today's video, I'm going to be testing out three Pinterest DIYs. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up, and also remember to go ahead and subscribe to Live Love Laugh, Love in 99, and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time someone on this channel uploads a video. Also, this video is a collab with Love Alma. She has really, really good videos and a really good channel, so you should totally go and subscribe to her. I will link her channel and her video that she's going to be doing in the description box. So, now without further ado, let's get started with this testing Pinterest DIYs video. So, to start with this video, the first DIY I'm going to be testing out are DIY scratchers. So, for this, you will need some dish soap along with a piece of paper. You will also need a tablespoon measure, some acrylic paint of your choice, I'm going to be using blue, along with something to write with, preferably a sharpie or something permanent like a pen, and then cups to mix in. You will also need a white crayon and a paintbrush. So to get started, you're going to just want to make whatever shape and write whatever you want onto your piece of paper. I'm just drawing a heart because that's what the DIY did. And then I'm writing IDK because I seriously do not know what to write. So the next step is to just go ahead and with your white crayon, just color the whole area that you're going to go ahead and put your scratch off paint on. So the next step is to take a tablespoon of dish soap and you're going to want to put that into your cup and then you're going to want to do the same and take a tablespoon of your acrylic paint and it's not have to be a tablespoon you just want equal parts acrylic paint and this soap so now you can just go ahead and mix all your ingredients together and once you're done mixing they should be kind of a runny and watery consistency so now you're just going to want to paint your area with this mixture and you might need a couple of coats I only needed one even though you could see a little bit through I really didn't care too much because I just kind of wanted to test this DIY I'm not giving it to anybody so as you can see mine is still see-through but whatever and the girl on Pinterest I think used about two or three coats of paint but now I'm just scratching it off with a quarter and can I say this works so well huge thumbs up love this idea would totally recommend doing it I was like mind blown and shocked so the next DIY is this phone holder out of a toilet paper roll. So you're going to need, of course, a toilet paper roll along with washi tape or something to cover the toilet paper roll if you want to make it a little more decorative and nice along with scissors. But I ended up using an X-Acto knife, not scissors. And then you will also need some thumbtacks. So you're going to start off by taking your phone or whatever you want your device to be and tracing the like outline of it onto the toilet paper roll like try to make it in the center of course so I just used my pen and kind of traced around the whole phone so there's mine and now you can go ahead and cut that area out I actually did it off the camera with my exacto knife because it was really really hard to do it on camera like I just could not get it in frame so now as you can see this my phone just fits in there really really nicely and snug so now I'm just gonna go in with the washi tape and start decorating the toilet paper roll with it so I'm just kinda gonna do a pattern just randomly and then I will be back So here's my toilet paper roll after I finished decorating it and now I just have my phone in and it is going to be time to take your thumbtacks and put four of them in your toilet paper roll as little feet kind of for your phone stand. So I'm just going to put them in making sure I don't like scratch the phone or anything so I'm kind of putting them a little farther out than where the phone is. So I'm trying to like make them as even as possible and they will basically just like I said be feet for your phone stand if this works. So as you can see it definitely worked on carpet. I really really like this idea but now it's going to be time to try it on a hard surface. So here I am and it worked once again. I really really like this idea. 
give it a big thumbs up once again. So now we are going to be trying a DIY lava lamp. For the lava lamp, you will need some type of container. I'm going to be using a mason jar along with vegetable oil, water, and some type of tablet that like fizzes up the effervescent tablets. I'm going to be using this one that I got from Bel Air and food coloring. So the first thing that you're going to do is fill a little more than halfway of your container with the vegetable oil. So now that I have done that, you're going to go ahead and take your water and pour that all the way of the rest of your container and leave a little bit of space. So don't fully fill it. Leave about an inch or so from the top. So now it is going to be time to add your food coloring. So I'm going to be using red and you want to add around 10 drops. I added way, way too much. I probably added like four or five drops too much. So I would definitely stick to like 10 or less. After that, you can go ahead and take your tablets. Right now I'm going to be using two and you're going to want to break them into a couple of pieces and you can start throwing them into the mason jar or your container and as you can see it looks so cool it definitely looks like a lava lamp i feel you could also like glue a little light at the bottom and that will make it look even more cool and realistic so here's mine it's like really really cool and after it dies down you can always add more tablets but it only stayed for about two minutes, which was really, really disappointing. I think it still looks really, really cool, and I give this a huge thumbs up. Okay, so that was my video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. And also remember to go ahead and subscribe to Live of Laugh 1199 if you have not already and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time someone on this channel uploads a video. And if you have not already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to Love Alma. She has really good videos, so I will link her channel and video down below. So that is about it. I will see you guys in my next video.